three, two, one. All right, so words into math. So I'm, I hope I'm not going to make this video too long. There are some key words that you're going to run into various word problems that it's worth knowing them. All right, so here they are. So there's uh, a few of them, and then I'm going to give you some examples, and you're going to see that it's not always easy to translate words back into math. So you have something like more than. So for example, I can say five more than 10. All right. Now, when you say that, this is actually written as, so when you say five more than 10, okay, you would write 10 plus five. Because it is five more than 10. All right. So it's above 10. So a lot of students, what they might do is they might write five more than 10 in this way. This translation, five plus 10, it's not the same thing, all right? So more than, you have to be careful how you use it, all right? So more than 10, okay, means that it goes afterwards. So it goes plus, it's an addition, but it goes after. Now, the second one is less than, all right? So just like more than, so when you say less than, so for example, uh, three less than 11, so three less than 11, which means you would write this as 11 minus three, okay? Because it is three less than 11, okay? So it goes backwards. These two are really tricky and give people a headache. Um, so be careful. So definitely, you know, three less than 10 is often written in, or three less than 11 in this case would be written like this by some students incorrect all right so be careful when you are dealing with less than and more than in word problems the other okay so now the word is or was or will be okay so this is always equal okay so this basically means equal okay so that's what this is when you see these words is or was will be okay so that's equal in math now increased by all right, so this one is a little bit different than, for example, more than or less than, okay? So more than kind of parallels increased by and then less than kind of parallels decreased by, but they're used differently, okay? So if you say, for instance, you know, you have 10 is increased by five, okay? So now you can indeed say 10 is increased by five in this way. Now, if you said five is increased by 10, that would have been five increased by 10, okay? Like so. Now, where this is, um, where students run into problems is when you start increasing by a percent, all right? So you can say, for instance, 10 increased by 5%, and 10 increased by 5%, so 10, increased by 5%. A lot of students just write it like this. This is incorrect. When you're increasing by a percentage, all right, it is 5% of the original. So you would have to write this as 10 increased by 5%, okay, and then 5%, it is 5% of the original because you're increasing it by 5% of the 10, right? To say 10 plus 5% is meaningless when you are dealing with word problems. So that is really, really important, okay? So be careful when you're increasing by a percentage. Now, decreased by. So if you say 10 is decreased by six, for example, or 10 decreased by five, then this, okay, decreased means you are subtracting. It is decreased by five, but if you say 10 is decreased by 5%, again, be careful how you write this. You cannot write it like this, all right? You would have to write it 5% of, okay? And that would be 10. Now, this brings something which, you know, you're, st you're gonna start seeing the word of here. So of typically means multiply in math, right? So it means multiplication. So be careful, okay, as you're reading things and you see that word of, okay, in word problems. So you can translate it back kind of to multiplication. 
Now, so those are the increases and decreases, all right? So that's that, okay? Now we have this product, right? Product of. Sometimes the word product is just removed, right? So you might say, you might see, for example, something like um, the product of five and six. If you say it that way, product of five and six, product, the word product means multiply, and when you're multiplying, so product of five and six, okay, so this is what it would be. So that's product of, okay? Now, if you say 10% of 10, so this is now different, okay? So if you say 10% of, okay, so 10% of 10, this, okay, translates back to, so 10%, okay, typically we would write it as a decimal, of would means multiply by 10, because it's 10% of that number, all right? So notice that of is basically a multiplication within here, okay? So that's what we have. Quotient, the word quotient means actually division. This is very rare in word problems, but you might see that. So quotient of 10 and two. So quotient of 10 and two, okay? So this is what that would be. Okay, so quotient of 10 and 2. So the word quotient means division between the numbers. The word difference, okay, means subtraction. It is the difference between. So if you say difference between 10 and 6, so difference between 10 and 6, that would be 10 minus 6. What is the difference between them? The difference would be 4. All right, so be careful with that. Sum. Sum is easier because we run into sum. So when you say sum of 5 and 10, okay, that's nothing else but addition. So 5 and 10. So these are words in math that we utilize and see, all right? And you have to kind of be careful. So, you know, when you're looking at these, product means multiply, quotient means division, the difference, okay, so between means subtraction, sum means addition. But then you have these other words like more than and less than, all right, or increased by or decreased by. And those ones you have to be careful. So remember when you say more than and less than, okay, so notice that those words, okay, will appear after, okay. Increased by, decreased by, okay, is direct, all right. So these are some common words that you might run into. Now, I wanna show you some examples here where these come up in examples in terms of word problems. So here it is, right? So something like this. John's age is five more than Joanne's. Okay, so John's age is, so the word is, okay? So the word is, okay, right away tells us equal. And notice how hard this is in terms of translating. So you have a lot happening here. So John's age, so whatever his age is, so let's say age, okay, that's of John, is equal to, okay, that's the word is, and now notice, five more than Joanne's. So now you're gonna take, so Joanne's age, okay, so I'm gonna put that, let's say, as capital A, okay, for Joanne's age, and now five more means plus five. So John's age is equal, Okay, and then it's five more than Joanne's. So that would be the translation, right? So that's John's and Joanne's, okay, right there. Now, which variable you use, you can use X and Y. Um, it's up to you, okay? We typically try to define those. So that is the utilization of basically, so here you see the usage of more than, okay? So five more than, okay? So that's right there. Now, the second one the height of the ladder was decreased by one meter, right? How do you translate that, okay? So we see the height of the ladder. So the height of the ladder, H, so that's what we have right there, H, okay? So the height of the ladder was, was decreased by one meter, okay? So was decreased by one meter, okay? So here we have was decreased by one meter, so that height was decreased by one meter. So here, if we're gonna be decreasing it by one meter, so that particular height, 
is going to be decreased by one meter as so. Okay, so whatever the height was, okay, now it is being decreased by one meter. And notice that's tricky, right, to try to translate it back. Here is another one, okay, question three there. The sum, so notice the word sum means addition. So the sum of the 5% anesthetic and the 3.5% anesthetic is 100 milliliters. Okay, so these are, you, you have basically like two different bottles of anesthetic. One is 5% concentration, one is 3.5% okay, concentration. Again, when you're just starting, this, this seems kind of foreign to you, right? So if you, have, you have two different types. So I'm going to call it, let's say, X and then Y. Right, so the sum of them means the addition of the two. So I would have in here the sum of the 5% plus, okay, I put a subscript 5 just to remind me that that's the 5% plus the Y, which is the 3.5%, and that is equal to 100 milliliters. So that's how we would translate this. The word sum means we're adding the two. And sometimes people would think that this is 5% plus 3.5%. That's not true. That's why these word problems are tricky okay, when you're translating these back. And you have to do quite a lot of them. Now, the fourth one. JP stock price was 1050 less than grow big stock price. All right. So here, in terms of this translation, the key here is less than. Right. So notice right here. 10.5 less than the other. So the JP stock, okay, so that, that stock, which is the JP one, so I'm going to say, let's say JP was equal to and is now grow big. I'm going to put grow GB, okay, grow big, okay, and it's 10.50. It's 1050 less than the grow big one. Notice that that subtraction goes after. All right, so that's what we have there. Now, for number five, the IV flow rate was increased by five milliliters. So now you're increasing it by five milliliters. So whatever the flow rate was, let's say the, the rate, okay, uh, maybe R, was increased. Well, increased, okay, this is by five. So it's being increased by five. That's it, right? So that's what it would be. The rate is increased by five milliliters. You can put the units if you like. Question six, the IV flow rate was increased now, notice, by 5%. This is really, really important because here it seems, okay, and again, a lot of students will like to do this. This is incorrect, right, in terms of math. So when you are increasing or decreasing by a percentage like you have here, then you have to, it's 5% of the original, right? Of the original. So those questions that you run into that are like that, okay? It is R plus, now 5%, so 5% we always would change it back into decimal and it is of the R. So it is multiplied, multiplied by R. So really in full, this is what you would write. So when you're increasing or decreasing by a percentage, it has to be a percentage of that original. All right? So that is correct. This is incorrect. Okay? Sorry, this is incorrect. Okay? This right here is incorrect right here. Okay? You can't say just plus 5%. All right? Because it's 5% of what? Number seven, the difference between the price of carrots and the price of apples. All right, so the difference between, so price of carrots, so you have, so in this case it would have been, so price of carrots, so whatever the price of carrots is, the difference, okay, and apples is equal to, in this case, I guess it's 50 cents, right, or 0 0.50. So the difference between the price of carrots and the price of apples is 50, okay, so 0 0.50. Next one, the sum of the two ages was 25. So now there's two different ages. So in word problems, you know, you may have to find what those ages are. So you arbitrarily can call them, I don't know, age one and plus age two. I mean, that will work, 
you know, you can say age one plus age two is equal to 25. That's the sum. Okay, or some people would say just x plus y is equal to 25, where x is the first age and y is the second age. Whatever variable you use doesn't really matter. Now, because you're going to be maybe graphing or using elimination, people are so used to calling everything x and y. They don't have to be x and y. Um, they're just conveniently used. Okay, question nine, the quotient of eight and two. So the word quotient means division. So this just simply means eight divided by two. Okay, question 10. The indoor plant has grown five centimeters less than the outdoor plant. All right, so let's say the indoor plant. Okay, so now again, so what you have to do in these cases is you have to be able, so you have an indoor plant. Now, it's, this is, must be the height, right? So this is the height of the plants. So now in terms of, so let's say if this was the height of the plant indoors, so H and I'll put subscript I, then this is the height of the outdoor, okay? So in order to translate this back, so it has grown five centimeters less than, so H, okay, I is equal to, okay, so it has grown five centimeters less than the height of the, so this is less than, so minus, okay, five centimeters, like so. That's what you would do. Now, some people maybe call this like this, x equals to y minus five, or you know y is equal to x minus five. They're all the same, except you know you pick your variables okay, as you choose. So these are some examples, and I would want you to walk through them on your own and translate it and make sure that you understand these. Now, of course, initially when you're just doing this, okay, it may not seem to pop out at you. But then once you start seeing word problems and you have to set up those word problems, these are actually very, very useful. And, you know, it's interesting that students don't run into these as much, you know, more than, less than, increased by, decreased by, and then understanding percents of increases or decreases by. And then the words product, quotient, difference, sum, all right, the word is, was. So those are kind of the key things that will pop out at you in certain word problems. And then you have to set up equations, which later you're going to have to solve. All right. Okay. So welcome to the first video of grade 10. Okay. Many more to come. Okay. Take care and see you in a future video. I hope that you found this useful and you learned a little bit. Bye, everybody.